getting a lot of calls. About what? Your, your shirt says armed cyclist. So? You got any ID with you, sir? Under what grounds are you asking? You're on video. Yes. You've only been an officer for under five years, probably. Okay. Am I right? Maybe you don't understand the entirety of the situation. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's stories are brought to us by the Armed Cyclist, a Second Amendment advocate and avid bike rider. His links can be found below. Lately I've been covering stories involving dash cams and body cams, and today's incidents are testimony to the importance of those devices, whether it's to keep safe from road ragers or to document your interactions with law enforcement. If you still don't have one, check the description for my recommendations. Jim Whalen has made some lengthy journeys on his bike. Due to the extreme danger of riding a bike on public roads, Jim is rigged his bike up to the max with reflectors, lights, and flags to warn traffic of his presence and always uses a dash cam to record his travels. He also wears a custom-made shirt with the words Armed Cyclist on it. On September 2nd, 2019, Jim was riding in Key Biscayne when he was pulled over by two officers of the KBPD. Hi, my name is Jim Whalen from West Palm Beach. Alright, we're getting a lot of calls. About what? Your, your shirt says armed cyclist. So? I'm allowed to advertise. Yeah. And that's good that you are. We don't know who called. You got any ID with you, sir? Under what grounds are you asking? I'm asking you if you have any ID with you. Can you get your supervisor here? She's right here. Under what grounds are you asking? You're on video. I am? Yes. I am. Under what grounds are you asking? We received a complaint. About what? About so what? The lighting. My lighting is perfectly legal. That's a lot of lights. So what? My lights are perfectly legal. Sorry. If you want to, if you want me to show you the statute, I'd be happy to. The statute that Jim is referring to is under Title 23, Chapter 316.2065 and states that every bicycle in use between sunset and sunrise shall be equipped with a lamp on the front exhibiting a white light and a lamp and reflector on the rear emitting a red light. It goes on to say that a bicycle or its rider may be equipped with lights or reflectors in addition to those required by the section. But again, this statute is relative to the time between sunset and sunrise. The amount of lights that he's using in broad daylight should not be an issue. The officers claim that they received a complaint regarding Jim's lights and shirt. We've already found that the lights are legal, and if we focus the reasoning of the stop to his shirt, we'd be diving into First Amendment rights. And while there are limitations to this basic civil right, it is typically bound to a few specific forms of speech. The mere act of advertising is not illegal, and thus the officers have no grounds to ID Mr. Whalen, let alone pull him over. I'm going to be on my way, unless you have grounds to hold me. Okay, have a nice day. Have a nice day if you don't have any grounds to hold me. This is consensual, and I'll bid you a nice day because I got business to attend to. So long. And just like that, Jim was gone with the wind, but his troubles with law enforcement didn't stop there. A little over a month had passed when he experienced his second encounter. The second video begins as Jim is calling for a supervisor to respond on scene as he was pulled over yet again. He stops me, he's stopping me illegally. So I want, I want your, I want your sergeant out here now. He's in a white car. I'm on a bicycle. And there's nothing illegal about what I'm doing. Are we at, my, are we at mile marker 38? We're at mile marker 38. What's that? I can't hear you. What's your name, sir? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Can you open your window? Lashani. What's your badge number, sir? 0391211. What's your, can you pronounce your name, please, again? Lashani. Lashani. 
Yes, I think so. He stopped me illegally. Yeah. And I want to file a complaint against him. All right. So I want I want I want your supervisor out here now. My phone number is five six one five nine six eight four seven three. And if he says I if I if he says I leave, he says I'm fleeing an officer and I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm northbound on a bicycle. All right, how soon? Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. So what makes you think I'm doing something illegal? Well, from what I remember reading in the statute, it was red or white. Red and white plus other, plus other lights. It doesn't define the color. See, I wasn't aware of the entirety of it. That's what I was just online. And then I also talked to my sergeant. And he advised me, he doesn't even care if there's blue lights on it. Actually, it's illegal to run blue lights. All right, I'm, if you'd let me speak. Okay, absolutely. My sergeant doesn't even care if there's blue lights on it. He says as long as you're visible and you're okay, we're okay with it. Yeah. So, so he's perfectly fine even if you have blue lights. That's why, see, I told you. I understand, but I didn't know that. So if I, if, I, if I flew, I mean, if I left, you wouldn't have been able to do a darn thing. Well, the thing is, I'm acting in good faith. It doesn't faith matter. Culture. You don't know the law. But it's a good and faith. And I said, doesn't matter. I can tell you what good faith is. Good faith is me being polite to you as an officer. When you do when you do your job, um, you've been respectful, but when you do your job legally. Do you understand what I'm saying? You've only been an officer for under five years, probably. Okay. Am I right? Well, maybe you don't understand the entirety of the situation. But at this point, you are free to go? Yeah. All right. I'm sorry I hauled you up for the well, I granted, uh, I appreciate the apology, because most officers don't apologize. I'm, like, I'm trying to be a nice guy, all right? No, that's without a doubt. But if you, if you, uh, the way, the way you should have done this, um, uh, sir, okay. is, if I could add, add to this, because other officers have, mm -hmm. they just stop by the side of the road. They get out of the car, flag me down, they have the lights on. They say, oh, i got to ask you a few questions. Oh, no, it's all about visibility, especially on US-1 here. These yeah. cars are flying. Some of them are going above 70. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. That's why I got these on. Yeah, it's good you have all those lights on. I mean, it's pretty Before, visible. Yeah, anyway, I appreciate what you do, but please do your... I won't say it again. You know where I stand on that. I understand, and I honestly thought there was something wrong here, but clearly there, clearly there isn't. And now I know for the next time, it's always a learning curve to everything. Yeah. And I would have been right to, rightfully just to leave, right? Uh, yes, sir, I would. Because I'm not doing anything illegal. It's debatable, but we're not going to get into that, though. Yeah. At this point, you're free to go. Yeah. I learned something new today. So. Thank you, sir. All right. The irony here is breathtaking. The officer commends Jim for having as many lights as he does, and for making himself safe by being visible. But it's the same reason he pulled Jim over in the first place. It shows how dangerous law enforcement can be when officers will enforce laws that they don't know, interpret incorrectly, and don't agree with in the first place. It appears as though they've taken the humanity and thinking out of law enforcement. And when that happens, we end up with an army of drones that only work for their masters, while the power that they wield over you brews a self-important, narcissistic, condescending, omnipotent police state. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed these encounters, go check out The Armed Cyclist. And if you have an interaction you'd like me to review, email me, submit it on my website, or through Facebook Messenger. All links are down below. That concludes our video for today. Please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. If you're old here, like, share, comment down below what you think of this interaction, and consider a channel membership or merch to further support the channel. If you have an incident you'd like us to review, link it down below or contact us through the social media platforms linked in the description.